Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this grungy Christmas look. This is day one of Vidmas. Everything I have used today will be listed in the description box down below. So let's get started. So I've already done my brows and I've applied some concealer to my eyelids just to um, cover up some of my veins and prime them. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Morphe M504 brush this one, and the colour MT040 from my Zoeva Matte Spectrum palette. It's this nice yellowy colour. I'm going to blend that into my colour. So now I'm going to use my Morphe M433 brush and um, ignore the tip. This one is my red eyeshadow brush um, because it's been stained red. And I'm going to take the shade MT080 from the Matte Spectrum palette, just this shade here. It's a nice sort of rusty dark orange slash red colour. And just tapping the excess off my brush and I'm going to run that tightly into the crease I want to keep it quite low down I'm applying just a hint of it so I want to blend that out really nicely I'm now going to go into the shade MT140 and I'm using this Body Shop um, eyeshadow brush. This is just like a flat um, packing brush. I'm going to pack that colour all over my mobile lid. The mobile lid is the bit of the eyelid that, that moves, so below the crease. I'm going to blend that out using the Morphe M441. Don't really want the colour to go up too much further than it already is. You just want to run the brush along that top line, so the top of the brush needs to be hitting the top line. Okay, and you can see here on the middle of my lid where the colour sort of faded away. So I will pack some more back on. I really lost on the presentation really. Just gonna go and do the same thing on the other eyelid quickly. So you want to go back in with that red colour, this time I'm going in on my Morphe E36, this is just a small smudger brush, and I'm going to bring that into the crease where the green meets the, the transition shades, and I'm not worried about it being too neat with it. I'm going to go back in with my blending brush, the M433, the one that's stayed red. And then you want to take your packing brush again with that same red colour and just pack that on the outer corner. So this look is meant to be quite messy and grungy. Um, I don't do the best job on the blending here um, in the crease but it'll have to do. And to be honest, once you've got all the rest of the um, makeup on, it doesn't really matter. So. Yeah, I just want to pack a little bit more of that red colour um, just down here. There we go, that's better. Right, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then I'll be right back. So I've done my other eye and I've just cleaned up the edges and underneath my eyes with a makeup wipe. 
I didn't really worry too much about shaping it because I'm going to be applying foundation and concealer in a little while. So now I'm going to take my favourite eyeshadow, um, always this season, I love using this eyeshadow. So this is Moonwalk by Colourpop, and I don't know if you can see at all, but it's a duochrome colour. So it goes between brown and green, and it kind of has like a little goldy tinge to it as well. Um, if you put it over certain eyeshadows, it looks orange or brown, and then over other eyeshadows, it looks green. Um, so I'm just going to apply that with my finger. This is the best way to apply these ones, by the way. Look how gorgeous it is on the finger. Okay, and I'm just going to pack that all over my lid um, and bring it up a little bit into my crease. Oh, I just love this eyeshadow like so much. I suppose if you prefer a matte look, you could just leave it like this, um, but I wanted to sort of brighten it up a bit. So although it's a grungy Christmas look, I do want it to still look quite pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cover it up with the Moonwalk shadow. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person where I put the um, red shades that are turned brown, it makes the Moonwalk eyeshadow look slightly different. I think on camera it just looks green all over, but here in person it's like brown. So. It looks pretty cool. Okay, um, so now I'm going to go away, do the rest of my makeup, and I'll come back so that we can finish off underneath the eyes and do the lips. Okay, so now I've got the rest of my makeup on. Um, if you want to know what's on the rest of my face, I will list it all down below for you. So now we're going to do the under eyes, well, finish off the eyes. First of all, I'm going to take a clean Morphe M433 and I'm just going to go back into that yellow colour and I want to run that underneath my eyes very lightly. Next, going back in with my Morphe E36 and I'm first of all going to take the red colour, tapping off the excess a lot, and I'm literally just going to blend that in the outer corner. Now I'm going to go in with the same brush and that green colour, the matte green colour from the Zoeva palette. And I'm gently going to blend that across the rest of my lower lash line. And into the red to turn it, that sort of browny colour. Back into Moonwalk by Colourpop. I just can't get over this colour. I love it so much. I'll be gutted if I run out and they don't have it anymore. And I'm going to run that over everything that I've just blended out. And I'm not going to blend this out, I'm just going to leave it as it is because it's shiny, it doesn't really need blending, in my opinion. I'm going to apply mascara off camera. Again, I will list down below which mascara I have used. When I come back, we'll do some lipstick. So there's several different lip colours that I like to wear with this eyeshadow look. But today I'm going to be wearing Wifey from the Jeffree Star Family Collection. I like to use a disposable lip brush just to apply it. So now that I've got my lip line done, I'm just going to use the applicator that comes in the lipstick. So that's the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do recreate it, um, don't be afraid to tag me on Instagram. I'll leave my link down below. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see it. It'd be cool to see it on different people. Please don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to grow my YouTube family. 
and I would love to hit 100 subscribers by the end of December. Uh, stay tuned for my next Vidmus video, uh, it will be not tomorrow but the next day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.